Hey guys, welcome back to another one. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a steak puller. So this works for rebar steaks, tea steaks, disposables, all those. Basically anything that you put in the ground, this can help you get it out. So like a lot of people know, it's really difficult to get out any earth anchors when you put them in by hand. Um, that's just how they're designed. So this little device helps a lot. So you can buy these off of trapping sites or you can make your own. Um, since this is quite heavy, it's probably a couple, couple good pounds and it's just really big and awkward. Just shipping on it alone is basically what you could buy the parts for here. So all it is is about a three and a half to four foot piece of square steel tubing and then you have about a uh, eight to ten inch piece on the bottom of angle iron so all you do is you put the angle iron right on the bottom and it'll have really good connection all the way across so you go ahead and you just weld all the way around just like that and then that's already done boom that cuts off that bottom so no moisture can get in there and then all you need is a couple things of chain or really you could just put the hook directly there or kind of whatever you'd like for it so right here you can see this chain is just welded let's see welded directly onto it and then it has just three smaller links and then it has the hook so basically what you do is you put it down you hook on to the disposable stake or the rebar stake or whatever you're doing right there and then you just lift it up and it pulls it right out of the ground because you have so much leverage that it's very easy to do so this is really helpful for if you're like older or you're just not as strong as like the six six guys that are going out there and stuff like that so I would definitely recommend one of these. I believe they're about 20 to $30 on trapping websites. And then who knows, you'll probably pay like $10 in shipping. So like 35 bucks on its own. But if you know someone who welds or if you know how to weld yourself, very easy. You just buy basically three things, the chain with the little hook, the big old square tubing, and then just the little piece of angle iron pop it all together and then you're ready to go. You could also use just like a flat, couple flat steel beams down there, kind of whatever you like. There's no real wrong way to do it because all you're trying to do is get that leverage and that just helps that not dig into the ground so much. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that of how to make it or what to do with it, just leave them down in the comments below. Um, so one thing that I did, I went ahead and spray painted it. I put about two to three coats on it. And then I also sprayed quite a bit down, down the hole as it is bare steel that you're using. So you want to make sure that it doesn't rust out on you, especially when you're out trapping, it's going to get wet. It's going to stay wet for a while, especially down in the hole. So what you want to do is you want to completely coat it very well. It shouldn't have too much like abrasions on it like from because you're not like having catches on this or anything like that so it shouldn't be too bad um, so this should stay basically until I'm done trapping so yeah I think that's pretty much it and thanks for watching mm -hmm.